Hey everybody, so one fun thing I did over fall break was travel to Atlanta to see one of my friends. It was very fun. Um, and then I do not currently wear a PA tracker. Um, I just, I never have purchased one really, but I, um, I do wear one when I have access to one. Um, someone has given me one to borrow or anything like that, but I just don't have my own. But I do think that they are worth the money and that they are beneficial, especially Fitbits and things. Um, I think they're a great source of motivation to exercise, having that constant reminder um, that you do have something that can track your exercise and health data and just the easy access to health data that you wouldn't have otherwise um, right at your fingertips or on your wrist. Um, is a good positive and I think they're very beneficial in that regard and then um, but the adopter category I would classify myself is the late majority or even a laggard just because I don't have one of my own and don't currently use one despite thinking they're beneficial um, and then um, one of the next hot fitness trends I would say something anything to do with AI an AI fitness app of some sort um, that can like talk you through things or just communicate with you while you're exercising or just apps that are completely powered by AI just with the constant development of that I feel like that could be something that is implemented in the near future so yeah